And it is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS AM 1160 and 101.1 FM. He was here in Indiana just a week or so ago, and he is back and on the line with us this morning from Washington. He's Dr. Lance Bush, who is the CEO of the Challenger Learning Systems, uh, affiliated, of course, with NASA, but with centers all across the world. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Todd. Thank you for having me uh, here in my, uh, yeah, where I uh, where I, I grew up uh, in Indiana County, and I'm I'm glad to be online with you. Isn't it an interesting that that circle gets completed? We talked about this before. That uh, for folks who don't know, explain that background. Uh, yeah, so I um, yeah I grew up in uh, Grayson, Pennsylvania. Um, and I, I'm not even sure when I was a kid. It was on all Pennsylvania maps, so. Uh, for those who don't know, it's uh, part of the Hummer Center School District, and uh, I graduated there in the uh, 80s. I won't be specific. That's, that's uh, dating me enough already. Um, but uh, went off to uh, from there to uh, Penn State and uh, graduated and joined uh, NASA in the legendary group who designed uh, Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo. Uh, those people were my mentors and had a great career at NASA, but was always interested in helping the next generation of kids, uh, recognizing, you know, how challenging it was uh, myself growing up. And um, so I eventually found myself being the CEO of Challenger Center, which is affiliated with NASA and uh, educates a quarter of a million students around the world and uh, got this great opportunity to help the next generation. And a few years ago, I was giving a commencement speech back at Homer Center High School and uh, you know, some of the board members there said, hey, well, you know, how come we don't have a Challenger Learning Center here? And I said, that's a really good question. <laughs> um, and as well, there were some uh, Indiana County School or Indiana School Board members as well who uh, knew my father uh, from the community and they actually flew planes together and um, in the Civil Air Patrol. And they said, hey, why don't we have a Challenger Learning Center here? So there were some very great concerned citizens there in education who were interested in this happening and so we've been teaming with them and they've been doing a great job of uh, moving this forward well the twin cities of coral and grayston have erected the statue to you so you'll have to visit it next time you're here <laughs> well it's, quite, it's good to see them come together on something when i was a kid we were, you know there was even a sport rivalry there between the you know who was the, who, who had better homer center high school athletes there so oh yeah uh, if I can bring them together, then that's a good thing. <laughs> hey, when we spoke with you at the very beginning of the interest in the Challenger Center for Indiana County and where we are today, they're two different concepts, aren't they? They've grown. The, the, whole, the whole idea has grown into something different than what it was originally conceived of. Yeah, well, Challenger uh, Center uh, has been growing, transforming. We're, you know, we're working in um, four countries and 26 states now um, and over five and a half million students to date. And we're, um, we're like everybody, we're, we're constantly ensuring that we're updating our uh, educational programming, um, both to meet, you know, better meet kids where they are, uh, improve our pedagogy, um, and, and the scientific data that we're based on, and, and always making sure we're aligned with educational standards that are out there. Um, but, you know, as, as a funny example of that, you know, we've, we run missions to Mars. We've been flying kids to Mars, you know, even though that's a debate of whether we're going, you know, as humans we're going there or not or when. A Challenger Center has been flying students to Mars for, for decades now um, in our simulations. Um, uh, but, you know, uh, you know, a couple of decades ago, we were running missions where we were, you know, looking for water on Mars. Well, we've confirmed it since then. So we've had to update our own missions so that they're more futuristic looking and the students are having more challenges out in front of them. Yeah. Um, so some of our some of our programming changes, I think the other big change that people should know is that we've We've also recognized uh, the need uh, for much more STEM education um, directly into classrooms. And so to augment the experiences we have, which are aligned with the classroom lessons and provide in-class in uh, lesson plans and pre- and post-mission uh, materials, we've also created a online version of this that we can use in the communities we work with so they, they can work with even younger kids which we're finding is more and more important in terms of getting students ready for math and science. Boy, the way that the STEM curriculum has grown in school districts across this area, and I'm sure everywhere else, is just amazing. Explain how, when you were here last week, um, that regional aspect of this Indiana County 
uh, Challenger location will work because I don't know that it's this way in other areas. I'm sure that there are there are some at least like that. But uh, the way that it encompasses not just Indiana County but the entire Western Pennsylvania region. Talk about that if you would. Yeah, I I think it's a, you know it should be a, a point of pride for this community to demonstrate such leadership uh, for a whole re- for a whole region. And I will say, even when I was there last week, and Senator Casey. Uh, was getting a briefing from the community leaders. Uh, his, uh, I watched him, and he was so visibly moved, um, taking at, at the point where it was raised to him that th- this would serve, you know, a very large port region of western Pennsylvania. And there were some specific numbers given of the number of students. It was something like 300,000 students in that area. Um, I can't remember the number of school districts, but it was a very impressive number. He started writing down a lot of notes at that point, was very impressed. I think even stopped the presentation to ask some questions. Um, and, and I will say as well, I get, I get the opportunity to meet with community leaders around the globe and um, who have host challenger centers or are interested in hosting one, uh, just like Indiana County. Um, and one of the things I'm able to do is when we gather these community leaders is help them look at their whole cradle to career um, timeline and what, what, is it, what are the needs of their citizens to have um, people gainfully employed and build your local economy um, and to have that kind of roadmap in front of you to know what the needs are and then identify do you have those in place or there are overlaps or there are gaps and what do you need to fix those. And it can be anything from early childhood nutrition to, you know, what we do is middle school, you know, really inspiring students uh, in middle school, elementary school, high school, um, and there's you know, adult retraining. Um, and, and, you know, I, I want to commend uh, this the, you, the community leaders you have there on these school boards, the political folks, um, economic development, they listened to that message when I first sat down with them, and they actually took it back and made their own. They, they made some of those, uh, you know, t- those Gantt-type charts, which is an aerospace term, um, mm-hmm. and they looked at it and said, you know, this is something we really need, and it's not just for us. Like, we, we see a need all across western Pennsylvania, and we can help fill this gap, and so uh, I think uh, it's, it's an amazing tribute to those folks, um, and it can bring a highlight back into Indiana County. It can drive uh, maybe even more students to some of the higher education organizations there, whether it's uh, Westmoreland Community College, which is uh, starting to build a, a reputation there, or IUP, um, and, you know, um, help grow your uh, social and economic well-being as whole that whole regional aspect of it and the number of schools and students and counties that are involved in it that has to impress someone like senator casey who uh, we know senator toomey also is on board with it representative thompson uh, in washington and in harrisburg people really recognize the value of this challenger system and uh, it's it's a good good thing that's actually what's going to make it happen isn't it yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we're, uh, we've, we've, uh, being around more than 30 years, I guess we're coming up on 34 years now, uh, we've seen that impact in other communities. I have, uh, presidents of universities, uh, mayors of towns that I've talked to, um, who've, they invest, uh, in their Challenger Learning Center and other like, um, ventures and said it has made a huge difference. Uh, in creating a very purposeful workforce development for their community. Um, and, and I recognize that this is, uh, there are a lot of jobs to be done to help a workforce. Uh, we're, one, you know, we're not all of it, but we're a critical component. Um, and we're, ha- we're thrilled to be working with other folks. And that's one of the things that impressed me is that there are other folks there who are saying, you know, that in that room were, um, you know, not just the school district, uh, representatives, the K through 12, but um, there were, you know, Westmoreland County Community College president was there. She's very interested in, you know, the handoff and the nurturing, the Indiana County um, Technical Center. Uh, these folks are doing a great job in terms of preparing students for the workforce and helping create those jobs. A couple of moments left with Dr. Lance Bush. He is the CEO of the uh, Challenger Learning Centers all across the world. Is the way that it's uh, conceived of here in Indiana County, is, is that atypical or is that 
the way that the model really works here in the United States, at least? You know, great question. And so we we work all, as you know, we work all over the world. And we are, um, you know, our mission is to inspire, ignite the potential in students in the broadest set of them. Um, and we're, we'll work with communities and understand that each community has its own characteristics, its own goals, its own way of structuring things. And, um, you know, and you got to remember, we even work in foreign countries. So um, when we move in there, we're happy to work with people as long as they're dedicated to our mission. Um, so there are a lot of different models out there of ownership, of who's involved. Um, but I, And I would say... The one that's developing there in Indiana County is exemplary. Um, it has components of some of the best uh, models that we've seen out there. Um, I don't know if anybody exactly has what, what Indiana County has, but I will, I will say it does have all the key components. It has people from the political side, from the education side, um, from the for-profit side involved. It has. Um, it is a regional effort. It, um, it just demonstrates uh, what I felt I got out of, you know, growing up there. You know, I've been asked throughout my life, you know, as I'm getting later in my life, you know, what was the secret of my success? And I said, you know, I'm, my response is usually um, my community. I've thought long and hard about it. I said, it's my community where I grew up because what I learned there is hard work, ethics, and to be community-minded. And that was because when I grew up, you know, you had to work hard to get anywhere. Uh, the ethics were that, you know, we had nothing but we really were so poor. We had almost nothing but our own pride and your own reputation, and that was the most important thing. And we were all, you know, dependent upon each other, community-minded. And I see that in what they're doing with the center, and I think it is what helps create such great citizens there. Dr. Lance Bush, it's been a pleasure having you with us again, and we'll catch up with you again, I'm sure. But uh, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, Todd.